All right, get your journals out. Get your journals out. Take your notes because Brene Brown is here with us in the house. She is. Brene has spent the last two decades studying everything from courage to shame to empathy. She's the author of five number one New York Times bestsellers. And her TED Talk, The Power of Vulnerability, is one of the top five most viewed TED Talks in the world. It has more than 50 million views. Each of us have watched it like a a ton of times. Well, now Brene has a new book out. It's called Atlas Mm. of the Heart. Atlas of the Heart. It's all about understanding our emotions. First of all, I can't believe I'm meeting you for the first time. This is such an exciting moment. And I was already telling you my secrets off camera. So you, <laughs> have the, you have that weird thing that you do. do. That. So yes. So emotions are funny because I think most of us identify when we're raging or when we're super happy or yeah. when we're really bummed or sad. But that's just the, we're just skimming the surface. We like the big buckets. Yeah. You know, buckets. we have like angry, yeah. happy. Yeah. Sad, yeah, yeah. but there's a lot more nuance to it. And the more accurately we can identify and recognize and label, the better we can move through it, um, the better we can regulate it when yeah. we're in an emotion. So language matters, granularity matters. Yeah, and you know what? It's so interesting because I wonder why we're so simple about it. Like, is yeah. this something we learn as little kids? Like, yeah. there's one of three ways to be. Right. Well, be happy, why? So. Why are we I mean, like I think this? you nailed it. I think yeah. that's it. I mean, and I think in some families, some of those are allowed even out of the three. And so, like in my family, you could be angry. But you could? Yeah, you could be yeah, angry. Yeah. But that, you that had a little something to yeah. it. Yeah. Um, but you couldn't say, it'd be easier to say I'm mad than my feelings are hurt. Yeah. You know, so I think we learn. So if you do feel, learn. like you said, you have to kind of you know, dissect it to figure yeah. out how we're feeling. Like, so you're, let's, we're having dinner with our family. We're angry about yeah. something. Like, how do you get to the root of what it is, like the actual emotion that you're feeling? Yeah, I think, first of all, we don't have the vocabulary. So yeah. language is hugely language, important yeah. because language not only communicates emotion, yeah. it shapes actually what we're feeling. Mm-hmm. It's like if I said, make chocolate chip cookies, yeah. and they would taste different depending on the bowl you picked. Language uh, actually shapes what we're feeling. Yeah. And so having, so this is a great example. Yeah. So holidays, yeah. right? So one of the things that we find ourselves either being we, we, we say we're mad, yeah. but a lot of times what we are is disappointed. Yeah. Mm. And the reason why that's important to tease out is because disappointment is always related to expectation. Mm. You know, I remember my husband saying to me one time, like, I know you've got a whole movie planned out in your head <laughs> about how this is going to work, yeah, yeah. and I'm happy to, I'll need the script ahead of time, though. Like, <laughs> I, 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 can't, I can't do this without knowing what the movie is. Yeah. And so we have intense, I call them stealth expectations. Like, okay, so I'm going to walk in, and at yeah. 3 o'clock we're going to do yeah, this, yeah, and then yeah, at yeah. 5, and then we find ourselves getting increasingly angry yes and mad and what we if we don't understand that it's disappointment that we're feeling Mm. we can't start looking and saying oh my god what was the expectation I had how do we lower our expectations how do we I mean how do you create realistic oh my god I tell a story in the book that we're packing to go to Disney and my husband looks over and he goes hey what what you got there oh god and I said you know I said some books and he goes, five books. <laughs> and he goes, yeah. And he's like, what are you going to do with those? And I mm-hmm. said, we're going to be gone for seven days. Right. I'm reading. And he goes, we're going to be at Disney for seven days with seven kids. <laughs> the only thing you're going to read is this tall to ride. And I was like, what? <laughs> just tall to ride. So the thing that we try to do a lot in our relationship, and I do it with my sisters, my parents, yeah. is reality check the expectations. Like, here's what, I, here's what I'm hoping the day yeah. looks like today. Yeah. And then Steve will be like, realistic, unrealistic. And then, mm-hmm. so I think being examining the expectations we set and what are we trying to get out of something that we maybe should be looking for somewhere else yeah mm-hmm. oh, that's interesting so almost like because sometimes in the morning I try to set an intention like yeah because just some like to be ready for the yeah, day yeah, yeah, yeah. and to write it down does that does actually putting it on paper help at all or is it good enough just to say well okay I'm good today I'm gonna be more patient or today I'm gonna try to manage my you know crazy time stuff I would say the data say, the research would say that writing down is powerful. Yeah. And the thing is, this isn't a thing about emotion. We think if I name it, it gives it power. Yeah. But what we don't understand is when we name it, it gives us power. Oh, exactly. When we call uh, it, oh, man, this is shame. Yeah. Yeah, this is say it and out to, loud. And to say it to somebody, yeah. somehow it comes off of us. It does. It, we don't internalize it. We have it. Language gives us, oh, language is like a portal to magic places because it gives us a handle to say, okay, I know what this is. Now I've got new choices. Mm. Ah. 
Can I ask about if you say something that, like, let's say I'm in a fight, I'm upset with my boyfriend, so I tell Jenna. Then I go upstairs and I tell someone else, and then I tell someone else, just because I, I feel like I can't get it. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like if that ever happens, mm -hmm. it becomes whatever was the problem just is magnified because I keep repeating it. Is that is that a, a true statement or? I hope I hope not. Cause I do that all the time. Use <laughs> <laughs> like it more airtime. No, I think. I think I would ask myself, I wonder what I'm not getting oh. that I keep telling this I keep story. I repeating it, yeah, like, yeah, what yeah. Am I, what am I after That's here? That's interesting, yeah. You know, like, and so I told you, but you didn't, yeah. you, you didn't, didn't say. Give me what I wanted. Yeah. Yeah. God, what a jerk. Yeah. You're completely yeah. right in that situation. Yeah. So I'm going to say, okay, how about you? Here's my story, am I right? You know, like, you know, and so what am I getting? What am I trying what, to Or get? what am I needing? Ah, oh, okay. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, don't Please go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Anywhere. Don't, yeah, she's gonna. We're gonna hear more from Brene Brown. What about feelings of jealousy? Mm. People have those around the holidays from Instagram. They feel it, but we're gonna talk about that after this. Mm. By the way, that's true. Because you're like <laughs> <laughs> we are back with best-selling author and researcher Brene Brown, whose new book is called Atlas of the Heart. Mm -hmm. And I love this idea because mm -hmm. it's really a map yeah. for mm. discussing all these emotions that we've hidden or that yeah. we don't discuss and one of them is anxiety yeah, yeah. Um, and there's a lot of forms of it right it's a spectrum yeah so when we talk about anxiousness mm -hmm. what's the best way to talk about it you know I think it's interesting because there's there's anxiety that we all deal with on a daily day not a daily basis maybe but for some of us you yeah. know and then there's anxiety that gets problematic that gets in the way of living our lives yeah. and that requires help um, and I think any type of anxiety where it's impeding the choices you make mm. or shaping how you live, really I'm a huge advocate of seeing it somebody professionally. Sure. I mean, like, I can get very anxious. The last couple of years has, have been, yeah. my anxiety has been kind of at an all-time high. And so for me, without a therapist, I don't think I could have done it because mm -hmm. I really needed tools. I really needed understanding about what do I do when I lock into especially fear mm -hmm. yeah. around. and worry like you have oh. this great thing where it's like will you still worry about this in five yeah. minutes will oh. you worry oh, about yeah. that? I love that which yeah. is a great that's a thing. tool that I got yeah, yeah. it's cool. a great tool that maybe just share a little about how we yeah. can talk with those we love about worry yeah. I think a lot about okay will this matter in five minutes mm -hmm. five hours five days five weeks or five months mm -hmm. and I then I need to like calibrate my dread or anxiety mm -hmm. or worry mm -hmm. based on that and yeah. sometimes I'll you know I'll think oh my god I'm gonna be late to pick up Charlie oh my god I'm gonna be late yeah. to pick up Charlie mm -hmm. is this gonna matter in five minutes it's mm -hmm. not even gonna matter in five no. minutes no. No. you know as opposed to some things will matter yeah. yeah a lot of young kids or teenagers have anxiety too mm -hmm. and some of it is tied to social media I think because they're looking at where they weren't invited, where other kids are going, mm -hmm. and they just start to feel, I don't know whether it's jealousy or anxiety, but I feel like it all plays in. They're buried in their phones. Um, what, there are a lot of parents, I'm sure, who are watching with kids who are in this situation. What did you, what did you learn about that? Man, what I learned about comparison mm -hmm. really changed my life. So mm -hmm. I think a lot of what happens on social media for all of us, not just the kids, yeah. are, I mean, do you get comparative yeah. when you look yeah. at social media? Yeah. yeah. Um, I used to, and I can get very, I can get really deep into yeah. comparison, yeah. but what I learned is to compare is to be human, yeah. that we actually reflexively do it. Yeah. You know, our neurobiology uh -huh. drives us to compare. Uh -huh. Where the choice comes in is what we do with the comparison. What we do with it. And so I think the ability to teach kids that, hey, it's really normal when you see all your friends out or all your friends at something and you start comparing. The thing is you have to learn how to reality check what you're mm -hmm. seeing and also you make a choice about how you're going to let that affect you. Yeah. The other thing I just loved was the difference between belonging oh, and fitting this. in. I love this. You yeah. know, that belong yeah. and to really talk yes. with each yes. talk with yourself. Like when do I feel love like that. I belong and when do I fit in? Can you tell us quickly what that is? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I mean the thing is that we are wired to be a part of something yes. bigger than us so so deeply yeah. that sometimes we'll take fitting in yes. as a substitute but actually fitting in is the greatest barrier to belonging because mm -hmm. fitting in says be like them to be accepted like yeah. them belonging says this is who i am i hope we can make a connection oh. mm -hmm.
I love that. Yeah. We don't want it okay. to be over. The book is amazing, <laughs> oh, and I'm you. sure everyone's going to pick it up. It's called Atlas of the <sighs> Heart. It actually comes out tomorrow, but you can check it out at today.com. Yeah, go to your shop. indie bookstores and pick oh, it up. Oh, come is Brene Lee. We don't want her to. We need right. more. We didn't even talk okay. about boundaries. <laughs> okay. Right. She's <laughs> like, yeah, back off, Barbie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we know. <laughs> you in this channel, click the subscribe button on below and hit the bell icon for you to stay updated with our latest videos.